the wrestling that we're involved in is Olympic wrestling, not to be confused with um, WWE, what you see on telly, which is more of an entertainment type of wrestling. This is um, a real sport. The object of wrestling is to actually get your opponent over on the back and hold them down. That is what we call a pin, and is that, that is the best sort of win you could get. If you can't get a pin, you'd be looking to try and win on points. A wrestling match consists of um, three two-minute bouts with a 30-second interval in between. It's quite physically demanding. Uh, you need to quite fit, and some of our kids, you know, the, the more advanced ones train up to four or five times a week. So they wrestle about three or four times a week and do their own fitness training in between as well. Anybody can pa participate in wrestling um, from sort of six year old with uh, them boys and girls. It's not a sport just for boys, you know, it's a sport for girls as well and it's becoming more popular with uh, girls. Um, a lot more girls coming into the sport now. All you need is a pair of plimsolls to start off with, a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. Go down to your local wrestling club and, you know, have a go. It's not expensive. You know, most places charge around £2, £2.50 a session. And it's good socially for the, the kids to so bond that way. It teaches a lot of respect as well. Of, among that Once somebody's ego seems to be getting a little bit too big, something always comes in to sort of put them back down again. So that's good as well. A lot of um, benefits to wrestling. Flexibility, coordination, good balance, strength. Uh, fitness, you know, if you start wrestling and you start training three or four times a week, fitness side of things is amazing, you get amazing results from it. There is a risk of injury like any sport, uh, but the more you do wrestling, the less chance you have of getting injured. It's usually people who are uh, beginners turning the wrong way out to something and not quite, you know, knowing what they're doing, that's where the injuries normally happen. But there is, like any sport, there is a slight risk of injury, but not any more than any other sport really. Definitely a sense of discipline in wrestling. Um, I think that's why a lot of schools like, like the wrestling when it comes in because they see some uh, kids actually change and sort of calm down and sort of enjoy it, yeah. The five basic moves we're gonna to show today. Uh, the first one is the half Nelson which is a groundwork technique which it, um, turns someone over from the front to the back so it takes them straight into a pinning position and hopefully get a pin out of that. Number two technique today is um, the far arm which again is a, a move, a groundwork technique where we're going to use um, the arm to turn someone over again on the back and hopefully get them in, on, into a pinning position. The third one again is a groundwork technique which is the cradle which uh, you, you trap the head and the arm, and then again, you turn them over onto the back and trap them on the back into a pin. Number four is the double leg attack, which is a standing technique, which we use to take, take somebody down to the ground, and then we'd use a ground, groundwork technique to hopefully turn them over into a pin. Number five technique is the basic ankle lace, which is um, you work on the legs again. This one is for scoring points. It's a groundwork technique, and We'd be, what we'd be looking to do is lock the ankles up to turn them over and score a multiple of points by rolling them over, hopefully continuously to score more and more points with that move. 